Hi everyone, this is Dr. Renu Nair, Dermatologist and Hair Transplant Surgeon at Dr. Renu Skin and Hair Clinic, Bangalore. Pimples or acne is basically a disease affecting the pilosebaceous glands. These are the oil glands on your face along with the surrounding hair follicles. So what happens here is there is an excess of sebum or oil production which in turn accumulates and this along with the dead cells will start blocking the pores. This will also attract the local skin bacterium and together they produce an inflammation that you see as a pimple or a boil or an acne. You can have whitehead or blackheads which is generally the precursors of these acne. So these are nothing but the sebum along with the keratin accumulated in the dilated openings of your glands. So if it is open under the influence of oxygen it turns darker and we get a blackhead and if it is completely closed it's seen as a whitehead. So why do we get pimples? It is mainly mediated by the androgenic hormones. So the main triggers of acne, one is the age, the teenage years. This is the first time that you start getting the pimples because of the hormonal spurt. So all this inflammation happens and pimples starts appearing in your face. But nowadays it's not only in teenagers, adult acne has become very common. So in adult acne, there is an underlying reason for this hormonal imbalance. The most common being polycystic ovary disease and sometimes thyroid disorders also cause this. So in adult acne, we have to evaluate for these underlying hormonal reasons and then correct it accordingly. The other trigger for acne can be climate changes. Extremes of weather can trigger acne. Your lifestyle can trigger acne. The diet you take. If you take a lot of excess dairy products, especially processed dairy like cheese, chocolates, ice creams, high glycemic index food with a lot of sugars, that can also trigger acne. The cosmetics you use, if they are not right, if they block your pores, this can also lead on to acne. And stress is also another trigger for acne. Another reason is the medications you take. So if you take a lot of steroid containing medications, contraceptive pills, especially progesterone pills, and certain anti-seizure medications, anti-psychiatric medications, these can also trigger acne. So how do we treat it? So one main important rule here is that if you start getting acne, please get yourself treated at the earliest so that it doesn't lead to any scars. Scars are permanent and it's very difficult to treat them. So we have to treat acne at the earliest. Let's see the do's and don'ts when you get acne. The first and foremost thing is to cleanse your face properly. You need to cleanse it at least twice a day using the right cleanser. You can use an exfoliating cleanser if you have oily skin and a gentle cleanser if you have dry skin. The second thing is use a good moisturizer which is water-based or light moisturizer so that it hydrates your skin but do not trigger acne. Then there are certain topical medications we use when you get acne. These contain ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, retinoids like adapalene, clindamycin and so on. So with the help of your doctor, get yourself treated with the right medicine. If acne is severe, we have to start on oral medications like antibiotics and vitamin A similar analogues like isotretinoin. So one important thing you have to note here is that when you get acne, do not touch or do not try to break it open. This also can lead on to scarring which becomes permanent. Also make sure you use the right makeup products which are non-comedogenic and do not block your pores. Your lifestyle is also important if you have acne. Eat a healthy diet which contains a lot of fruits and salads. Drink adequate amounts of water and make sure you don't eat a lot of junk which contains fried items and too much of dairy products which in turn triggers acne. So if you're suffering from acne, please reach out to your nearby dermatologist and get yourself treated in order to have a blemish-free or a flawless skin. Thank you.